This is a story about people, nature, passion, devotion, story about inspiring. Time flows differently here. Um, you have to be pretty much an all-rounder. You have to get yourself acquainted with all of kind of different things concerning water and temperature and animal behavior. Um, and uh, the gear that we use reflects all of that. And if then all comes together, you catch something. The sea is like an internal part of me. And uh, uh, I just basically need it in my everyday life. Uh, if I cannot be on the sea I, I really miss it and uh, even right now when I ha have the sea basically as my workplace when I come back home in the evening completely tired from fishing the whole day I actually I can't wait to go back out the next morning well um, there are a lot of like rituals that you can have but for me the ritual is because I'm the angler and I'm the captain so I'm responsible for everything for the for everyone on the boat for the boat and for the equipment. So what I basically do is just I check everything. I check my rods, I check my lines, I check my knots. I check my batteries, I check all the systems on the boat and uh, after that's all done, we can go. Um, okay, for joining the shock leader to the PE line on a jigging outfit, I use the PR knot. For that, you need a bobbin knotter. Uh, in my opinion, that's the strongest connection between PE line and any type of monofilament. Uh, okay. The knot is gonna take a while. Uh, today, of course, we have a lot of very, 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 very advanced electronics on the boat that we can use to find fishes. Coming up to 20 meters. Okay, let's go, Jake. I had a strike. My Kumilu on the second one. I got it. Did you did you film it? So I use radars, fish finders, sonar, everything to, to show me the fish, to show me birds. Um, but you actually need that today if you want to be successful. Once you know where the fish are, is of course the kind of tackle you use. Uh, so it is absolutely important that if you spend all that money and all that time uh, that you use the best you can. Um, that means rods, lines, reels, hooks, lures. Um, and uh, don't skimp on any tackle. Buy the best you can afford. It doesn't have to be the most expensive one, but the best you can afford, and that's, that's my credo. Never failed me, very strong. Uh, for me, it's actually a kind of a family tradition. I started fishing with my father. My father was born in Hawaii, but he's Japanese. So uh, he took me fishing when I was a little kid. Uh, when we moved to Germany, the first thing I did, I went uh, to the river or to the lake nearby and, uh, you know, fished without a license. So I don't know, it's probably in my genes, but uh, it's the connection you have with nature. Um, it's not just about catching the fish, it's just being there and uh, looking at the water, be it fresh water or salt water, uh, and just basically Becoming one with a whole with a whole thing. Uh, that's for me is the is the thing about fishing, and it's probably the same with hunting. I'm not a hunter, but uh, I think that's what fishermen and hunters have in common. This is a fish right here. Yeah, they're here. That's a fish. Do that. So I always have to turn the boat to the downwind side. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's all what's falling out of the net. Look, there's fish underneath. 
The only thing I was thinking about is when can I get to the sea, uh, how long do I need to get there and how many days can I spend there and uh, it was always a drama when I had to go back. So basically for me the sea is essential for my life. I need it, I need to be near the sea and I need to be on the sea as much as I can. Um, yeah, that's just it. I've been in fishing for a very, very long time. I've been tuna fishing for almost 30 years. Um, so I've worked with a lot of companies together, but uh, actually now working with Zenak is pretty much for me like you reaching the top. Now about four years ago, we started a very close cooperation and I'm very happy about that and proud. Are we good? Yeah, but the fish is taking line again. I know it's going to be a big one. Zenak for me, it's kind of uh, also for me a connection to my family heritage and to my past. Uh, because I'm obviously also Japanese, but I have been far away from Japan for all my life. Uh, but the values and the, the craftsmanship and the, the spirit that goes into every product, uh, I think you only have that in Japanese products. And that's why for me it is something very special to work with them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I just said, okay, right direction, come on. Keep going, faster. Fishing is not just about catching the fish. So it's actually everything. Um, if you do catch a fish, that is uh, 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 like the icing on the cake. But uh, if I don't catch fish, I'm just uh, satisfied. Uh, for me, it's the whole thing. Um, you go out on the sea, you're one with nature, you see many things you would never see if you're not out there. Uh, that's wildlife, maybe dolphins, whales, turtles. Uh, you see fish boiling on the surface, you see tunas jumping, you see sharks circling the boat. So even if you don't catch necessarily every day, it is still a very nice experience. And that's about it. If I do catch, I mean I do want to catch, and if I do catch that just means that my strategy was right and uh, that's even better. All the line we got is going. Slower, slow down, slow down. Get the line back from the fish. 99.9% oh. of all fishing companies on the world have outsourced the blank manufacturing to China, to, to, to cheaper countries. Uh, not Zenak, they make every blank in-house. That's why um, their blanks have a very, very special action and they do listen to their field staff, people like me and many other guys that they have around the world who have a very, very, very broad knowledge and experience in fishing. Um, they actually listen to those people and uh, because they have a, uh, their own factory, they can react to all the input we give them is uh, very short and that's why, in my opinion, they build the best rods on the market. If you go out to the sea, um, you pick the right lure, you pick the right line, you pick the right rod, you pick the right spot, you hook the fish you wanted to, you fight it all the way to the boat, and then you let it go. That's the best thing. The problem is 
the hard part hasn't even started. Maya, look at the line and follow it. Maya, look where the line is going this way. Come on. Okay, now step forward. Come on, come on, come on. That's the, the, the question is too simple because it depends what kind of fishing. This way, okay? Okay. There's I'm many, many, the many, many styles of okay. fishing that are solo games. Okay. Oh, yeah. the, the fish we caught was a team game, obviously. If you go offshore with a boat hunting for large fish, it is a team game because you rely on the captain, um, you rely on the guy riding the boat to bring it to the fish, to find the fish. Uh, you, need, you need him to maneuver the boat once you hook the fish, so that's a team game. Um, if you fish freshwater for trout, uh, if you do shore jigging, uh, land-based casting, that is more of a solitary game. Uh, but since I'm a captain and an angler and uh, I do charters, so for me it's more of a team sport because uh, I hardly ever go alone fishing and uh, I normally need somebody else on the boat to at least drive it while I was fighting the fish. This way, right, 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 right. I'm going in. Okay, now straight. Right, turn right, 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 right. Neutral, 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 neutral. Now the hard part. Uh, if you look at me, I'm not the biggest of guys. Uh, it's technique. Um, you need the right tools, of course, uh, and in this case we can talk about Zenak rods again, who use the most advanced material. So you use rods basically that support the angler lifting the fish, um, and actually you have to let the rod do a great part of the work to tire the fish and to lift it, um, otherwise uh, that would not be possible. Now you need to be, of course, also uh, just like in any kind of sport, when you go to your physical limits and uh, when you fight with big tunas of two, three, four, five hundred pounds, um, they are stronger than you and they will physically exhaust you very much. So um, your will has to be stronger than the tunas will. So um, you need the right fighting technique, you need all the right tools and you have to be halfway strong in your head just in order to fight that fish all the way to the end. Look how, look how shallow it is. Yeah. Slower, 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 slower. I'm getting stuck. Put it on again, put it on. Zero, a little, a little back. Okay. Here we are. It's actually two meters and four. Curved length is 204. No, actually I never get tired of it. I think the moment I actually do get tired of it, I'll stop. Um, every time I go out to sea, I have this anticipation in me, that um, anxiousness. Um, every time a fish takes a bait, I have that adrenaline rush. I don't think I will ever get tired of it. Not just being in nature on the sea because I really am pretty dependent on the sea just for my sanity. Uh, but for me it's also the whole thing, it's boats, it's tackle, it's, the, it's nature, it's being out there on the ocean. And all that together, that's for me offshore fishing and uh, that's basically my life, that's what I do.
I remember my first tuna, of course, that I caught here in the Adriatic Sea. That was uh, the year 1996. That was a very good moment for me. Um, I remember my first broadbill swordfish that was in the year 1995 on the Azores. That's our tuna from yesterday. This is the sake that you sent me, Kenji. I told you I will save that for a special moment. So, Zenak, thanks for the trust in us. Cheers, come by. Cheers. You know, we are all fishermen. That means we have one thing in common. And uh, uh, that's what basically keeps us all together. But uh, if you buy a Zenak rod, you don't just buy a fishing rod, you buy that. Japanese heritage, um, you buy that perfection. It's kind of like uh, uh, you buy a samurai sword that was made by an old Japanese master swordsman. Um, and that is a Zenak rod for me in fishing. What do I say? One, one more time. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't need a teleprompter. Uh, it is far from being boring, it is actually one of the most exciting things you can do. <laughs> <laughs>